Hello, welcome to Coconuts. I'm Julie and I'm going to talk to you about neckline depth using the Coconuts method. Um, what you're going to get in the pattern is it's going to have you maybe add some stitches along the neckline edges individually, but then it's going to have you at a certain row cast on all of the stitches that you need to fill in the neckline and then it's going to have you do short rows to curve this neckline. So it doesn't matter which row you do this in, the pattern will tell you what row to do it in, but if you want to adjust the depth of the neckline, you just start that process in a different row. If you wanted to raise the neckline, you would do it in an earlier row. If you want to deepen the neckline, you'd do it later. So for instance, this is the June pattern and the neckline cast on takes place in row 19. This is also finer weight yarn than it goes finest. This is more DK light worsted and this one took place in row 17. So it's a little bit, it's not quite as deep as June. And then this one is Mabel and chunkier yarn. So every row gets you more mileage, but this one took place in row three. So it's a higher neckline. And the way this works is when you get the instruction to do that cast on, this for instance is my filled out worksheet for the Mabel pullover. And I've got it filled in as the pattern tells you to do. And then it tells you what row to do that cast on. If I wanted to deepen this neckline, Rather than do it in row three, I could do it in any row. I could drop it down and, it, you know, if your row gauge is, you know, my row gauge is about 4.5 rows to the inch. Every time I drop it around four to five rows, um, and it needs to be an even number, so four rows further down, six rows further down, I'm going to get another inch of depth in that neckline. So you you, even though the pattern tells you to do this cast on in row three, if you say, no, I want another inch, there's no reason you couldn't do this or in an even number lower. So for instance, I could add four rows to that and that would drop it to row seven, or I could do six more rows and that would drop it to row nine where I would do my initial cast on. And then these little marks here are telling you how far past the marker you're going to work before you do your short row. And those will remain the same. You'll just move this, all of this down four rows or six rows. And the same thing goes for the other patterns. If you want to raise the neckline, if you want a crew neck rather than this deep neckline, on the Molly, for instance, if you wanted to raise this right up so it would happen right away, you would do start your neckline shaping in row one. You're going to do those few little increases and then you're going to do that cast on. Instead of in row 17, you're going to be right up toward the top to do that cast on. Everything else remains the same. You're still going to do the short row shaping in the rows following that cast on. But that's what determines the depth of your neckline is just which row you start that cast on in. So that's how you adjust the neckline in the coconuts method. Um, and just note that these numbers that you're writing in the plus before and after the red and yellow markers, that's what, that's how many stitches past your marker you're going to work before you work your short row. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Enjoy.